What's the word, y'all? In today's video, I'm gonna show y'all an easy way to get some VHS into your music videos. This is VHS Cam by your boy Fred Pell. And look, let me just show y'all how to get this. First of all, you wanna go to his website, simply scroll down, and when you see it, click it. You could just punch in J A W Y S I T E Z, and it's gonna give you a nice little discount. Or you could just simply hit buy now, pay for it, and you're good. So now, what you want to do is uh download it all right brother so once you finish downloading it you should get a little folder like this with the zxp installer how to install it and your license i'm not going to open this but just know it's a couple digits and some letters but just double click this and install it i'm just going to run you through this real quick but i'm not going to do the full installation because i already have it but once you click it you'll see that it automatically gives you the option to install it so all you got to do is click it um, here's a little example on how the licensing goes. You come to window extensions, you open VHS can, and as soon as you open it for the first time, it's going to give you just that little screen with the license as you can see right here. And yeah, you're going to have it. So now you have all your pre comps and all of your stuff in here. And if you don't see it, you just want to hit this little refresh button. So now my G's, uh, I'm just going to find some footage that I want to pre comp and give it a little VHS look. I'm going to take these three clips and I'm going to pre-comp them and I'm just going to move all attributes at the same time. Let me give it a name as well. Let's name it uh, Tut. Now, as you can see, Tut is not here. So I'm going to hit refresh and now Tut is there and I'm going to launch this thing. <clears throat> this plugin is mad cool. It has nine different presets. I'm going to show you right now. You have the broadcast one, broadcast two. You have camcorder, camcorder two, camcorder three, point and shoot, pro camcorder, surveillance, and thermal. Come to the thermal, the surveillance is cool. They're hella cool. They fire. So I'm going to choose point and shoot. And also they have these glitches. I always like to run with the second one or the first one. The first one gives you a, a lot of variety if you have things already going on in your footage. Now you can play with the noise, have the glitches going on, the rewind, and the timing. And let me put this in quarters so you can see what's going on. Feel me? So now, also, as I mentioned before in my last video, make sure you don't leave this whole little interface and you don't leave this thing on. Yeah, you might mess something up. So I'm gonna go to overlays and if you really want, you could change how stretched out you want this overlay, what you wanna do with the Y, where you really want it. If you want it at the bottom, you could have it there. If you want it at the top, you could do what you want. You could change it. It has recording, time, the frame, everything. And also I like to deal with this like a little before I deal with all of that other stuff. The VHS cam settings, I changed my aspect ratio to 16 by nine. And then I bumped like my exposure, gamma, and you know, the saturation, the overall picture, interlace, you could turn it on or off, but I like to keep it on one. Also the exposure, I don't really like to have it too high, all of that cool stuff. Yeah, let me move forward. So now if you hit confirm, you get this pre-comp that you're able to edit. All you have to do is hit the little shy logo right here. This is how you unhide and hide all your layers. And then you could come in here and you could actually play with some of these settings and have them, you know, looking exactly how you want to. For example, like you see the overlay, so you can come down into the source, right? You can double click this pre-comp. It'll open it for you. See which one is the overlay. You see, this is the overlay and you could just play with this overlay. It might seem like it's too big. You're like, oh, where is it? You just got to zoom out. And you'll see it you could do things like add your own logo you know you can move it along the y and the x axis if you just hold shift click and drag you can also just mask out this this bottom piece right here or just on the mask hit a subtract and then boom there goes that so now you turn back on your logo you just got a flickering logo come over here and they have this slider where you can fix the x and the y the scaling how large you want it and then yeah everything becomes fully customizable once you actually finish what you're doing in the vhs cam plugin you could just come back over to your main composition and inside your project tab there's going to be a folder with a bunch of other compositions which are the ones we just played with and it has the tut underscore vhs cam so now you want to click drag and put it over your original and uh, once you do that you should have it in your main comp looking nice and swaggy you feel what i'm saying but yeah brothers that's all i really got for y'all today if y'all really enjoyed this drop a like comment subscribe and make sure y'all go check out that plugin and make sure you use that code 
J-A-Y-S-I-T-E-Z. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. And I'm signing out. Peace.